Oh, let's go. Oh, my God. All right, so I'm here at Tommy Schumpert. I am about to record my very first round. Uh, one shot all the way through. And we'll see how well we do. My best score was back in April. I did plus five here. So my goal today is under par. The real goal is negative two. Hole one. That's right here on the short. 222 feet. Going with a beat in T-Bird. So score part on that one. Now we're on hole two. It's a 237 feet par three. Basket's up on the left. I think about hitting this right gap here. My crystal flex zone. And uh, park it. Some bad putting scored a uh, bogey on the last hole. Now we're on hole three, it's a downhill shot. It's uh, 267 feet, and there is kind of this hyzer route. But I'm thinking just going up the gut, so going with a uh, envy putter, try to flip it up to flat and let it fade. Again, get right off the band on that putt. A little disappointed, but uh, nonetheless, we've got a uh, par three again, 185 feet, basket straight ahead. There's a direct route, which I'm thinking I'm going to go with my beat and envy. There's also a forehand route you can skip, but uh, so we'll go with envy. So made the bleeding stuff on that last one. Got a par again, but now we've got a uh, another par three, 249 feet straight uphill. There's definitely like the obvious hyzer route to fade into the basket. It is going a little bit uphill, so I'm gonna disc up to my Valkyrie. So got a par again on that, that last one. And now we're on the next one. We're at hole six. This is 239 feet. It is a dog leg to the right. I'm thinking forehand onyx for this one. And we're gonna try to go through this, just hit that, hit that forehand straight and let it fade up towards the basket. 
going to require a lot of power though. Man. So I definitely hit it with the right look, but that disc is just way too straight. And this one really curves up right. So I probably should have went with a Firebird on that one. And I think that would have hooked nicer, at least got a nice skip up. But now I'm probably putting from circle three. That's what I'm talking about. All right, absolutely huge putt on that last one, but I gotta forget about that because we're still playing the course. So now we're on hole seven, 242 feet. It's kind of like a valley. There is a uh, straight shot that basically, if you get a nice fairway driver, should fade into the basket. Um, and it's an open, but it's a tighter gap. The other one is not as tight as gap, but there is a forehand line through here. If you just push a push a disc straight, hopefully let it skip up to the basket, maybe about circle one. I think my percentages are higher with a forehand, so I think I'm gonna go onyx again. There's a reason why I didn't run that one because there's a huge drop off right here. Don't want any of that. Alright, so we are we have a par three, 224 feet. Basically it's over this hill and it's tucked into the right. So Thinking like a forehand firebird, it'll, it'll hug the hill with gravity and then eventually turn out of it. I just throw it on a nice, just trying to think which one I want to do. A little bit more stable, I'm thinking this one. We'll just get a nice spin out of it. See that one rolled out. All right, so we just got out of the woods. We have one open shot here. It's pretty much straightforward. Typically, this place is overflowing with water, but there's no water this time. But it's 278 feet. There is a little slight headwind here, so I'm going to step up to a fairway driver and just let it crash in. Cooked a little bit. I'm concluding the front nine and uh, I'm still on pace. I think I'm doing better. I really don't remember, but I'm plus one to the front nine again. My goal is to hit even through this. So I think the next hole is a pretty short one. that will be disappointing if I don't birdie that, but we'll see. All right, so this hole, Probably the shortest on the course is 140 feet. Literally two lanes. You have just a straight, straight gap. And then you got a forehand if you want. It's a little more technical. It definitely makes sense to go to the wider gap. Hit it with my zone. Hard job. Very, very, very. 
bird. Back to even now. All right, so now we're on the uh, longest hole of the chorus. This is par four, 498 feet. Basically, there's the landing spot right there. If you have the power, which I don't, you would push it ideally all the way and the basket's about 100 feet past that little gap. Really, I'm just trying to get to this open gap. Don't go too far right. Don't go inside so I can just have an easy upshot. I'm gonna go with my wave. About 30 feet more to the left would be even better, but pretty much have an upshot. Gosh, I put it so scared there. I put it so scared that I barely creeped over. All right, so we have a now par 12, 270 square, uh, square feet, 270 feet. Basically, it's straight this way and it starts curving up to the right. You can barely see the basket. But basically, I'm just trying to get a firebird on a kind of almost a flex line and then let it get through this gap start turning hard into it, so forehand for me. Totally. Oh, totally misfired that one. That was so bad. Uh, but it should be a pretty standard up and down. We'll see how my footing is. I think I'm just gonna toss the glitch over there. We'll see. Gone, that was so close in that tree. <laughs> All right, so hole 13, 274 feet, dead straight ahead. I'm gonna see two trees to contend with. I'm thinking throwing a low beaten T bird on a low line and let it skip towards the basket. Excuse me, it's a right to left. That's a shot I would love to have back. Totally hooked it right. I think I had the right power though, and I think it got a decent skip. I may be at circle, middle of circle two, but maybe have a look. But man, that was such a high release. My nose was way up on that. But we'll see what we're left with. I, I still think I'm, I've got a chance to putt here. Man, that was a chance right there. But it was not a disaster. Uh. I think I've got a good chance on this next hole. 
Still at uh, one under with four holes to go. Go. All right, so we have another shorty here. It's uh, 152 feet. It's posted up on the hill. Obviously the putt's gonna be the challenge here. Part of me really wants to throw my glitch up there. Just let it float, but I think I'm gonna play the safe play and get the zone up there. Parked it on the hill just to have it roll back another 10, 15 feet. So I've really got a decision to make here. Do I go for it or do I lay up on the hill? Twenty-seven feet. You have to basically. There's a nice straight route if you throw, for example, a zone on a straight line and let it fade over. Basket's tucked in over there to the left. There's definitely no straight line to it, but obviously there's the trees to contend with. So you can just get a nice, nice release on it. It should fade right in. I think I'm gonna go a champion firebird on a flex line back in. I did not hit any trees either, so should be an easy up and down. Maybe I'll have a chance actually for a putt too. Maybe make another clutch circle three. I definitely by far the hardest hole. Par 16, 200. 40 feet up the hill. I think I'm gonna go uh, hyzer, try to get towards the basket. We have a par three, 244 feet. It's dead across. There's the middle gap. You would think that'd be the given, but I don't have a flippy disc right now that I trust. So they would take this hyzer out and just push another fairway through. Let's go! Oh my gosh! It almost skipped in! Ah! To save the boat, to save the birdie! Oh, that would've been so sick! That would've been so sick! Dude, that was such a legit forehand. I, I hit the first available tree. I was like, wow. My good round's about to come to an end. And I had just like this 
I mean, I was still basically in the fairway, but I had two, two trees to contend with. So like, all right, I'm gonna throw that same T-bird on a forehand line, put a lot of torque to it and spin. And oh my gosh, it went dead straight, skipped up. And almost went in the basket. Like it just hit off band. are down after that almost skip skip birdie would have been legit we're on the last hole 223 feet it is straight through here and there's a huge turn on it it's going to require pretty much like a stability of a firebird to get down there this is to try to get to my goal negative two under circle one. Yes, did my goal, negative two. Let's freaking go. That is awesome. Oh my gosh, that was so much fun. So I beat my best by seven strokes. That is huge. And this course felt way easier this time. Honestly, if I would have just played smart, I maybe could even got one more birdie, but honestly not mad but I literally met my goal. I'm not even kidding you. I wrote on a sticky note in my, in my notepad right before this round. I said, I'm gonna score negative two, Tommy Schubert, and did it. <laughs>